I've had great luck with this uh, American Whitetail in my 25-06, so I thought I'd give it a try in my son's 243. And uh, once again, sub sub MOA, MOA groups, better than I can reload or is good. Amazing stuff. Okay, the Hornaday American Whitetail ammunition in the 243 uh, Tika of my sons. First group. At 100 yards was 0.455 inches under half an inch. And the second group opened up to 0 0.730. I don't know. Welcome to the Yukon in North 61. Uh, this is uh, number two of our uh, series on getting ready for caribou hunting. First of all, we're dehydrating. We got corn. Corn. We got. We're gonna make some spaghetti sauce, leathers, and what else are we gonna make? Chili. Dehydrating chili for chili leathers and butthole sandwiches. And let me show you what we do. We use our food saver. First of all, we're gonna make a little bag. There's our little eight-inch material for bags. First thing we do is create a strip. in there nicely. This is heat sealing a strip. A nice little strip there. Second of all, we take one of our sandwiches, which is made out of peanut butter, honey, and some beautiful thick bacon. And it's fairly big. Put it in this little pouch. Side in because we need a little bit of room, and we feed it into the vacuum channel and close this up. small so I could probably have put that down a little bit. No, that's pretty good actually. So instead of being that big, it's now about half the total volume. Plus this will last for probably a week to two weeks depending on the temperature of going mad. And it doesn't quite come back to the same consistency when you open it up. And uh, that is the uh, Aaron Schneider butthole sandwich. So you're making 18 of those. Okay, caribou prep of the old Polaris. One. Got some new, more aggressive tires. Those are the Bud Lights. Better, a little better than the Carlisles. Two and a half inch Marshall lift kit. Now I've got about, oh, about a foot of travel. So what's important about having a little bit extra lift here is uh, last time I went to this area, I was stuck all the time. And I think the two and a half inches make a big difference. I didn't want to get bigger tires because it puts a lot of stress on the, on the uh, axles and stuff. And so I just have a little more tread. And a little bit higher should help quite a bit not get stuck or get unstuck. Plus, uh, once again, I'll bring my mud anchor. Mud anchor and a winch. Plus, I'll think it'll come along. And we should be able to get out of just about anything. Especially with the high lift jack. We got out of some terrible stucks before. This time I think we'll be able to be a little bit more successful. It'll make a difference. Mud guards. In front. Just made these out of foam rather than spending 600 bucks. And in the back. The under the seat full of mud. We have a little access thing here for the thing. And of course, I got my box. Allows me to carry a lot more. High lift jack. Take a look at the mud flap. 
collapse there. That's gonna be great. So I think we're ready to ready to roll with the Polaris.